Hello, 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 everybody. How's it going? It is Matt and it is Maniac Monday, and I am back at you with yet another review for the day. This is review number two. Hey, don't worry, there won't be any more after any more today. Tomorrow will be a whole nother day. But before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that lovely stuff because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when, when you are here. And then one last little in, tidbit of information. Check out the description box. I gave you your brief synopsis, your starring cast, your director, runtime of the cut I am watching, along with a link to for a trailer, a link to watch it, a link to purchase it, and a link if you decide to help support the channel. So there's all that that you can do. So there is a little bit, a little bit more info, a little bit bigger bite of every movie of every single day in the description box. So keep that in mind. Now that I got all that out of the way, let's roll on to the movie of the day. Yes, it is a good one. It is a blast. It is dope. It is fresh. It is banging. It is all the all the good things that you can say about a movie. It it, it it came out back in 2013, and it is none other than Joe Sherlock's Blood Creek Woodsman. Wow. What a cool, cool film. Uh, I enjoyed this thing from beginning to end. I am definitely a huge mark for Joe Sherlock's films. He definitely knows what he is doing, uh, both in front and behind the camera, because he always always seems to have at least in the in everything that this is will be the fifth film of of 14 that i will be reviewing for him um this one uh, at least he's had a cameo in all five of the that i've reviewed thus far now this one is probably will be the i believe the oldest out of everything that i've reviewed it came out in 2013 uh, it runs at about an hour and I think it said 25 minutes, uh, if memory serves me correct. Uh, it's in the description box just to let you know. Um, it is a, a uh, kind of a standard stock and slash type, type affair, but it does have some nice little twists and turns in it. Um, it is a, probably the most polished movie I've seen so far out of Joe's stuff. Um, it is extremely, there you can tell there is a lot of love put behind each and every one of his films. But this one there, you can tell there was a lot of effort and a lot of joy and just at least every, at least it seemed like everybody worked their asses off when it came to this one. This is just absolutely a stunning piece of work. I really liked it. It, w it was the perfect movie for me to watch today. I needed a good standard stock and slash, and this fill fit the bill perfectly. Um, what is it about? Well, it's about this dude who essentially, uh, he goes to, to work one day really late at, late at the job. He's a, he's a lumberjack. Um, he finds out that his wife has been sleeping with one of his co-workers. He confronts the co-worker about it and then decides to kill him right then and there. And then he goes on a standard rampage of killing every single person on that work job, on that work scene, on that work, on that job. He, he definitely d kills everybody except for the boss played by Bob Olin, uh, who I know mostly from the drifter. Uh, he was amazing in that. He's great in this. Uh, Bob is a good actor. I like Bob. Uh, I, I usually, um, I notice, notice he, he plays little parts here and there in all of it, all of the Joe Sherlock films that I've watched so far, all five of them. Uh, and he always has a, a fun character in all of them. And I really enjoy, enjoy seeing Bob in, in his stuff. Him and, uh, um, the guy that plays Ward. Ward, uh, um, is by far my favorite character of the whole movie. Um, I forget the, the guy's name currently that plays that character. But he is a, a another uh, standard uh, Joe Sherlock uh, actor that is in in um, has been in every single one of of the films that I I've reviewed for him. He is one of my favorite actors that is in his films as well. There was no Mr. Birch though, which which made me a little sad. Um, this was pre Birch days, I'm guessing. Um, but uh, either way. Uh, 
it, it was it was nice seeing a lot of the regulars in here. Bryn was in here as well. She is great. She was also in Channel 99. Uh, um, not the Drifter, but um, oh shoot, I forget what the other one was that I uh, uh, that I reviewed just before that, uh, or just after the Drifter. But she's been in a few of the fil films of Joe's that I've reviewed so far, and she does a great job in this. But uh, um, Bob, back to what I was saying, Bob is the boss, the boss, as it says on his helmet. Um, he he uh, escapes. And you find out later on, you fast forward it later and you and we're we're now met with a character um, uh, played by uh, uh, Tom Stedman or Sted Stedham Stedham Stedham, I believe is the last name. Um, he did a very, very, very good job as well playing the sheriff. He is a uh, sheriff from Los Angeles by way of Alabama. So he has been around the states. Um, he is now in, in this, this, this tiny, tiny town in, uh, um, Oregon, um, which this is filmed in Oregon and part of Washington as well. Um, uh, Joe, Joe's neck of the woods, literally neck of the woods. Uh, but, uh, um, uh, it's, it's a very small wood forest town, forest town, um, very cool looking, beautiful scenery, uh, you're now faced with this new character that is is going through a lot of hard times, trials and tribulations of his own. He is is first night that you get to meet him. He he is going on a drunken rampage essentially inside of a bar. He he gets he decides he's going to go talk to um, a a woman there in the bar. Turns out she's a reporter and she's there to do a story on the Blood Creek Woodsman. She does not tell him until later on which which magazine or or news news or uh, news agency she works for. And then when she find when he finds out, he gets very upset, gets rid of her, um, brushes her away because you know it's one of those like fake National Enquirer type um, rag magazine type deals it's 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 like pure pure uh um eye candy crap you know as i like to call it because it's it's eye candy but it's crap it's it's not real news you know it's 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 made up stuff like bat boy saves the earth at the at la last second you know shit like that so it's it's got it's 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 got her, that going on for it um our sheriff is very, uh, uh, a very, um, I would say a hard ass, but he's got a soft side because he does have, he is going through a, a, a kind of a, a, a separation of things with his wife at the same time. And she is trying to work things out while he is trying to do the good thing and 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 be a gentleman about it and not uh, rush into things because he's got a lot on his plate being that somebody is back and doing all of these gruesome murders all around this small, quiet town. Yes, and at one point when you find out at the very end why and how it happens, it, it completely changes the style of film and it goes into a completely different direction I would have never guessed. Um, I love the ending to this. I think that both the first, middle, and third act do a great job uh, building anticipation and 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 giving you a nice steady incline of of a a, uh, a good story. It's not just fun acting, not just awesome effects. Which, by the way, the, the effects were very very good in this. Um, there's there's people getting sawn in half with with uh, chainsaws. There's axe shots. There's there's just everything you can think of there's even a girl who gets her she gets a big massive bear hug and gets her back broken and it is really just you know it's an, an easy practical effect but it is very cool and i really liked that 
Um, overall, it is a very, very fun, awesome, dope flick. And I really hope some of you guys check this out, especially since now it's October. Um, it is perfect for your uh, Halloween lineup. Uh, I think that this one hits on all cylinders and it really does a great job. Um, there's, there is that, that, that classic Joe Sherlock humor in here as well. Um, uh, there's things that, that only, only fans of Joe Sherlock films will, will notice, um, uh, after viewing multiple times of his stuff because there's always things that I'm noticing that that I didn't notice before like like um just like just reoccurring characters um uh there is a little gnome in here that uh um that a garden gnome that was stolen from somebody at one point in this and that whole whole uh, ordeal is just absolutely hilarious um it says that there should be he should be making appearances in other joe sherlock films so now that i know that i'm going to be keeping an eye out for this little garden gnome because it is going to be like one of those fun little easter egg hunts um to uh to kind of just add more more flair and excitement to his movies which i you know i i am a am a huge fan like i said at the beginning of this review um I have a hard time uh, coming up with exactly what to say with Joe Sherlock's films because I like them so much and I don't want to give away a whole lot because I want you guys to watch them. Uh, watch watch this, watch Channel 99, watch uh, back, uh, what, uh, uh, Blood Creek Woodsman. Uh, there's just, he's just the drifter. There's just so many great things. There's things with a Z, things five. Um, yeah, there's just, just a lot of great stuff coming down the, down the, down the pike here for me to review from Joe. And I, and I hope you guys tune in for each and every one of them because I, I'm having a blast reviewing them. And like I said, this is number five out of 14. So we got nine more to go. Now on to the three things that I like my films to meet. Dial, or, uh, audio is, has great audio. As usual, Joe is no slouch when it comes to making a film. Um, there's never a point in here where I, where I misunderstand what's being said. Everybody is very, very good at, at delivering their, 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 their lines, their dialogue, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the fluidity of their, of their dialogue is just very, very well. So the audio gets an A+. Plus dialogue and like i said it is very good it's classic joe sherlock um it's very fluid uh everybody is talking with with uh at that time to it, it, people still kind of talk like this nowadays um the the dialogue is still still pretty modern um i wouldn't say that it's aged um, uh, other than some of the, the clothing and hairstyles, but that's the only things that's, that's changed really. Um, other than that, you know, it's still very, very much modern. This is only a 10 year old film. Um, so it, it definitely has aged very well. Um, so, so it, I, I feel like that the dialogue gets an A plus as well. Editing is always good in Joe's films. There's never any weird um, continuity errors or or weird cuts in things that don't make sense. It always is nice and smooth. Um, I, I never have anything really bad to say about this film. This one is definitely a banger, and I hope you guys check it out. So it gets an A as well on, on editing. So so like three A's, that's that's an amazing score. And on, on, on that one through five, as usual, it's going to get the four from Joe. Joe gets a four almost every time for me. Uh, this one is just, just hit a home run, and I hope you guys check it out. Um, with all that said in mind, tomorrow I will be reviewing The Abomination of Frankenstein, which I'm looking very much forward to. Uh, then on to Wednesday will be Real 2, then Taped Up Memories, Deadbeat, then Final Summer, 
and then on to next week will be the or uh, Sunday will be like animator so we're having having quite a fun plethora of films this week to review so definitely tune in tomorrow and I will also t tomorrow just to let you know it'll be a double upload um, it won't be two reviews, it'll just be one review, but I'm going to be uploading my interview I did with, uh, director Chris Woods. So look for that as well for another episode of Another Day, Another Dollar to be, uh, uploaded tomorrow. Um, with all that said in mind, I hope all of you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, peace.